Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, for those of you that uh, are, are familiar with my setup, like I, I've made a few adjustments here, and I want to, before I begin, give a shout out to Shenanigannon. Uh, Shenanigannon is a fellow streamer that I met through a mutual follower, and uh, he's a really chill guy who does uh, lots of uh, Let's Plays involving Skyrim, and uh, he's got a... Uh, He's got himself a, a playthrough right now of, I think it's The Binding of Isaac and The Evil Within. I just want to look him up real quick so you guys uh, can uh, see who I'm talking about and uh, hopefully check out his channel. Like, I know that he'll appreciate the views and I spelled his name wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, man. I'm really bad at this still. Uh, there it is. It's Shenanigannon. Sorry about losing the music for a second. This is a guy right here. Uh, but uh, he primarily streams on Twitch, then uploads his videos onto YouTube. I, he and his friend yesterday gave me a few solid tips regarding my setup, especially the microphone. You might have noticed that the, the, the quality, my sound quality is definitely improved, and I'm very grateful for that. And I, I've also taken a little bit of inspiration from his own setup. Like, he has a very dark, relaxing atmosphere that's open and inviting. And that's something that I hope I can emulate in the future. Really cool guy. Please, if you like his this type, if you like this type of content, please give him a check. Uh, please, please check out his channel. <laughs> Words, man. I just woke up like two hours ago. I know, I'm a bit lazy, but today... <laughs> shout outs aside. I'm gonna be working on the road in front of my citadel. Uh, a citadel is a castle town, where, uh, like, uh, it, it, <laughs> of course, we're almost timed out. Yeah. <laughs> well, a citadel is, technically speaking, a, a fortified city. Here we go. And I was doing a little bit of AFK before, that's why I have my little hole in the ground here. What's going on, Sour Patch? How are you doing this morning? Oh, it looks like it's still dark out. Can I sleep? Or is there another creep? I think there's like a mob in that area, so I'm gonna have to sneak out of here. <laughs> don't lock in yet then, Shinra. I don't want to get you in trouble, man. Yeah, I owe Madman Larry at least a few stacks of iron blocks, and I need plenty more iron blocks where that came from for decorations. I'm uh, using anvils as a type of railing for this retaining wall right here. So the more iron I get, the better. But today, that's not going to be the project. Increase mic gain 10%, decrease music 10%. You got it, buddy. Still kind of ironing out the kinks for the volume. Oh, wow, and I'm glitching too. <laughs> you see that lag spike right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was a creeper. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm sorry about the sound quality. Please bear with me for like 30 seconds while I escape. Like, I don't want light to strike any of my builds either. Okay. So, let me just bring up the music real quick. There we go, toning that down just a little bit. I'm gonna increase the gain. How's that? Is that better? Or is that a little too loud? Please let me know. I, I appreciate all the feedback I get, guys. Awesome. Oh, it looks like uh, <laughs> I have a little present here. Gotta love these Endermen. They're so helpful. How did you know I was going to be working with dirt today? Uh, and I'm going to need a lot of it. <laughs> like, come on, man. Well, I'm going to be working on this pathway in a while, so I guess I can leave it alone for now. I've done a little bit of work off camera that I want to show you guys real quick. I didn't like uh, the natural stream look on this part of the wall, so I decided to do more a, of a moat-like structure. This is going to be a bit of a canal, like a water runoff. Like, uh, I'm uh, going to create, like channels for rainwater to be collected and passed through and this can also be the sewage line and 
Well, maybe not sewage because this is right. From, this is going right through the gate, and that'd be kind of nasty. But it's, we're going to be a lot of uh, flood water, drain water, and it's also going to be like for aesthetic reasons. I want to make this look pretty, you know. Like the posh district is going to be right here, and it's going to go through straight across the main entrance way for our citadel right here. And I. Like, I'm trying to think of a good design for a bridge. I, I've got a couple in mind here, but that, once again, just trying to show you what I've been working on a little bit off camera. Today, I'm not going to be doing that. I built this wall and this moat uh, a few months ago now. The wall is about half a year old. The moat is about three, four months old. And uh, I've been trying for the longest time to visualize just what type of road I wanted, and I think I finally have something in mind that I'm going to be able to put down. Yeah, iron grates. Or acacia wood grates. Like, I, I particularly like acacia grates, uh, gates because you don't need redstone to activate them. And uh, they kind of look like uh, rusted iron gates. Like, if you look at them like that. But that's just the impression that it gives me. Maybe I'll mix them up. If I can find a way to use uh, the iron gates decoratively and get them into the positions I want, like, I would prefer to use those. But I think for the grates that are going to go underwater, it would probably be better if they have a rusted quality to them. It'll probably be a little bit of both. But we'll see. Alright. So I need to do a little bit of groundwork here, and the first thing I ought to do is build some type of rotunda. But before I really get started here, I want to show you just what kind of texture palette I'm going to be using for today. We're going to be using cobblestone. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some gravel. Coarse dirt, maybe. Actually, let's get a couple pieces of coarse dirt here, because I, I don't want the grass to grow over that. We're going to be using stone bricks. And, uh, let's see. I think andesite. We're going to stay away from stone this time. Let's see if that works out. And I forgot, I need to switch it over to the OPS. Want to, like, make it just a little bit brighter. I, I've switched off my uh, OBS, uh, uh, like, I had my OBS setting to night mode. Uh, now I have it to daylight mode to get myself more light. And I noticed that the overhead light in this office was a little bit uh, glaring. It kind of grated on me, too, guys. So, uh, I I'm trying to get a slightly toned down lighting here. If it's still too bright, just let me know. But I need to clear out this dirt right here. I still want some kind of natural hill setting right here. But uh, this uh, is a little bit too close, and it's too steep of a gradient. So uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the overall shape of the hill right here. Like, at least not yet. That'll come later. Getting my rotunda down and then terraforming the match. Uh, this is going to be farmland in this area right here. There's going to be a, a uh, barn of some type, uh, probably a windmill structure. Uh, fields of wheat, potatoes, carrots, that type of thing. But this is clearly <laughs> a very small area of land, like compared to how large this city is going to be. It wouldn't be nearly enough. That is awesome. I didn't want to conflict with some, with shenanigan and schedule either. Yeah, thanks for giving me that heads up. So I'm also going to be converting this area behind here into farmland. Like, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to lower these hills right here a little bit and get a type of terrace structure. Uh, I'm going to flatten out this area here, this little divot. It might be a runoff stream. I want a, uh, I want this moat to continue, it's going to be somewhat of a waterfall structure that's going to be coming around uh, the outside wall of my castle here. It's going to be a very sharp, steep decline. I'm going to have to go at least 10 blocks down in this area. And, uh, <laughs> well, this is going to be a lot of work. This is going to be a major landscaping uh, project. I need uh, a, a lot, a lot of farmland for this area. 
<laughs> the farmland has to occupy at least as much square footage as the city itself. And well, as, as you can see, this area is quite large. And what you're seeing right here, the, like the rendering distance only covers roughly a third of the actual area within the walls. And uh, eventually our road is going to wrap around this moat structure. And uh, we're going to join it up with the farmland there. It's uh, going to be well and interconnected. Think Kingdom Come. If you guys have ever played Kingdom Come Deliverance, like specifically how the roads kind of wrap around Rattay, that's the idea that I'm shooting for. But I'm not quite done. I think I need just a little bit more room. That's well enough pushed out, but I need uh, room in this direction here. My mouse is kind of lagging, so I'm sorry about that. Just gotta clear the rest of this out here and I'll get to get started. My mind is going all over the place. I was about to demonstrate the texture palette. But I actually have almost enough, almost enough room right here to get that laid out. I don't know if I'm gonna have a rotunda uh, use the same type of texture palette as I will for the path that'll wrap around our moat here. Like, the idea is, I wanted to have an air of officiousness outside of the main gate, but uh, then, like, I'm going to, like, not use a dirt path, but I'm going to have some type of, um, uh, cobble structure right here. I'm thinking about, uh, four wide. I'd like it to be four blocks wide, and, uh, this is for military purposes. Um, for those of you who are in the military yourselves, you probably remember that formations, uh, like, uh, whether you're in the Mar Army, Marines, Navy, or Air Force, are four wide. And, uh, that's kind of what I'm going to be going for here. To, like, so that if, uh, the king needs to send out his troops to pacify the land around his castle, or if he's sending out his troops uh, to march, then they'll have enough room to march shoulder to shoulder to uh, whichever province they need to reach. So this space right here is actually a little too narrow. I want to give some breathing room on both sides, you know, like, like an area for a little fence post. And then we're gonna have some interconnecting dirt paths leading up to our farmland. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a thing. Just about done here. I'm probably gonna get mobbed while I'm working on this because I'm knocking out all of the torches. And I'm not too concerned about the shape of uh, this hill right here. It needs to be a little bit random, and I'm gonna be tweaking on it here and there as I go. Uh, you see th this guy stealing my dirt. That doesn't that doesn't belong to you, sir. I'd appreciate it if you put that down. Oh, he's gonna kick my butt. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just let you go about your day. I'm not I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers here, bro. I need a new shulker box. Um, yeah, these are full. This has been a very long project, my friends. So I'm just going to shove everything in here for now. It's a little bit sloppy, but I don't think I have... Do I have my shulker boxes on me? Well, let's see here. I might have enough in this chest. Oh, I have plenty. Perfect. I have plenty. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back. Just like to keep everything organized. Uh, here's coal, but do I have wood in here? I do, I do have wood in here. That's perfect. I only need two logs, and I might be throwing down a few planks on the road. I'll see. But first, I want to get up a general structure for this thing. Uh, let's get some planks. There we go. Box. And that's how you make a shulker box, Sour Patch. This is a portable chest. Where am I going to put this thing? Probably right here would be fine. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You have to go to the end and kill a lot of shulkers for them. Shulkers are mobs that look almost identical to these uh, boxes here. Like, these uh, shulker boxes are, are made out of the shells of these creatures. 
Which reminds me, I'm really looking forward to the types of structures we can make with goat horns. That's going to be a thing. Like, it's, it's a shame that 1.17 is going to take nearly a year to release, but, um, well, it seems like it's a substantial update, so I, I really can't wait for that. I have basalt in my inventory, but that's only because I was using it to intermittently place uh, more dark and water-worn textures in this uh, canal feature right here. So I'm going to just uh, put that here for now. I'm going to start out. I'm going to need the shovel. Let's put this right here. Uh, just get our, all of our tools really sorted. I won't need the wood cutting axe for now. But I'll need... Yeah. Let's start out with this. Like a, a little bold to, to not use stone. I know, but uh, I, I think we can make it work without stone. And I'm going to start out the road right here, I think. But uh, first, I kind of want to get this rotunda outline. I'm going to build a type of circle here, and uh, like I don't want to use uh, andesite for this actually. I, I should probably just shovel these out. Like I, I want to just get the rough outline uh, for the overall shape of this rotunda, and then after that I'll have a better understanding of where I want to place my road. I said it was going to be four wide, so we're going to go two, four, two, one, one, two, four. But that is actually a little bit too wide here, so maybe if I take these away, place my dirt, then I bring uh, this uh, over right here, fill this in, and that's better. This is a bit more centered. But I'm running across a problem that uh, this is five wide, so it's not going to look even. So I'm going to place another one here. We're going to go for a slightly ovular rotunda. And, uh, and that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we'll see. It might be better if I just bring this in one. Like, give it a more flat appearance. Because then it'll just have, like, a diagonal shape. You know what? I, I actually like the egg shape. We're gonna stick with the egg shape. Like, again, this is just to get a shape out. I'm not actually gonna be working on this part just yet. I still don't have a design in mind. But uh, it's important to have this shape. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. I, I need to place a block right here. It's important to have this. Uh, <laughs> You're level 174? Oh my god. Dude, you really grind on that. Like, I'm not sure if I can actually plug that up without breaking the redstone here, so I'm gonna leave that for now. But, right, this should do it. This is the shape we're looking for. And I was just about to say, like, I, I like creating shapes that helps me visualize, like, the placement of where things are going to go. And uh, this is going to kind of casually wrap around the stream. I, I want to bring it in a little bit, but this hill is in the way, so we're just going to punch this out. Another couple of blocks, maybe. Like, I don't want to make it too severe of a turn. Uh, I want to give myself a little bit of hillside here, too, to build, though. Like, obviously, the farms that are going to be in front of this gate here are going to be the most prominent and, and uh, most frequently accessed. Or maybe I'm going to want this type of elevation. But it kind of goes into a flat plane there. So let's just sweep this out of here. This should be enough space for now. I kind of like that. That's a good That's a good path. No mods or anything. I'm going to check tonight to see how much I complete. I'm pretty sure I only need to finish the main story and I would have done everything. <laughs> of course, you've done everything except the main story. Would it really be a Skyrim playthrough if you did the main story right away? That's not how old vets do it, man. That's, that's not how we approach things. And I'm gonna give one block right here. 
So the transition is going to be just five blocks whenever we move to the side. So it'll be kind of like this. I want to get this road kind of hatched out shape-wise before I begin putting down the textures. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty eager to show you what I have in mind here, but it won't do me any good if I, I don't have a good shape for this thing first. Now, what unique items are you missing for your playthrough, Sour Patch? Like, for some reason, I always wait until the very end to get things like the White Five or the Ring of Cursing. Like, I almost never do Sending's quest right away. That's something I push off until, like, late game. I think it's because I never use werewolf powers like that. Like, I, I'm, I'm a humanist. I'm so assuming, you know. <laughs> shape. Well, let's begin. I'm going to layer stone bricks on the inside here, and we're going to surround that with a bit of cobblestone, so let's, let's just patch in a, a few stone bricks here and there. This should help us get started. Alright, not bad so far. Here's where we're going to add some cobblestone to make it kind of look like uh, uh, it, it's it's well worn. It's broken down over time. We we don't want a type of uniformity here, so we're kind of just randomly placing blocks. But we want our stone bricks and uh, our cobblestone to be more or less concentrated in the center. And then as it gets to the outside here, like notice how we hardly have any stone bricks on the outside. Views are disconnected. Hey, broken mouse. How are you doing, man? So happy to have you back on the stream, dude. It's been a minute. And I'm gonna play some of the stone bricks here. Uh, another one right here. <laughs> we were just talking earlier about your maze. Like, I'm still looking forward to playing that thing. Like, I understand that you can't stream it. <laughs> like, that would spoil everything, right? Alright, we're gonna place our andesite intermittently between like, I'm going to have gravel space in between here, but uh, the andesite should kind of give it like a more textured pattern. I don't want that flat look that stone brings. And uh, here we go. Then this is looking great right now. I'm already really happy with this color palette, guys. Uh, bring... No, I was actually thinking that doesn't look right. <laughs> this right here. The, the discerning eye. Absolutely can't have any of our cores dirt in the center path right here. Our gravel is mostly going to be going on the edges. One or two pieces of gravel will be going in the center line. Bob Ross for three hours yesterday. <laughs> hey man, there are worse ways you could be spending your time for sure. Like I, I thoroughly believe in that type of philosophy, man. There are no accidents. There are no mistakes, man. There are happy accidents. I'm doing really well, like super relaxed, you know. Uh, I'm happy I get to stream this early. Like this, this is a rare opportunity for me. <laughs> usually, my like, usually my girlfriend needs this space to do her homework. And, you know that always takes priority. But today, you know, she just wanted to relax, take the time off, and you know, um, if that works out for both of us, you know, <laughs> here I am playing video games. <laughs> But this is more or less the texture palette that I'm going to go for. It uh, kind of looks like just by itself here, without anything really substantial, like on its sides, it kind of looks a little blocky, don't you think? I might have to... Hey, Toasty Flamingos, how are you? <laughs> I caught you in uh, Shenanigan in stream yesterday, right? I believe that you Sour Patch's daughter? Nice to meet you, man. Uh, meet you. Uh, he talks about you a lot. But yeah, I think that I'm gonna have to do a little bit to uh, kind of get the illusion of like blending in here. So I 
I think to blend this, I'm going to kind of just throw some uh, paths uh, right here using our handy shovel. You can see that already looks a little bit better, kind of like a rut in the road. I don't want the rut to be going like. I don't want the rut to be a solid line because that would just give us that problem of like it would just make it look too square again. So instead, I'm going to have it kind of uh, intermittently broken here and there. Uh, just like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So that's the overall appearance we're going to have for this thing. And we're going to stretch it all the way down the coast. And then afterwards, we're going to fill in this area here. Uh, like you can kind of see what I'm going for terraforming wise here on the edge of the wall. Uh, we're going to replicate that between the road and the moat here. Kind of just bring that forward a bit more, like make it kind of look like ditch weeds a little bit. Square. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think that your other sister is much younger though, right? And uh, it's... oh, well, you look at the time. <laughs> I need to run. Like, this area is not safe. I don't have it well lit. But I need a bed. I can't just keep flying up into the top of my tower. I don't have my rockets in my inventory, so I'm going to... Do I have my wool box here? I don't. I don't, actually. So, hold on a second. I'm going to have to go up into my room in the hotel, the tavern, and uh, grab one of my shulker boxes. I had almost forgotten that I decided that I don't have a house in this bit, in this city yet. One year older. Ah, okay, so you're the younger daughter. Still very nice to meet you. Right, here's my wool box. I, it looks like I don't have any wood here, but that's okay. I'm gonna choose green. I like green beds. So, uh, broken mouse, I've been meaning to ask, are you just naturally hyper like this, or do you drink a lot of coffee? Because <laughs> you always seem like you're really tense and pent up, man. I'm not knocking it, it's just an observation. Hold on a second. I think I have wood in here, and I can already hear the monsters. Our handy dandy porkless. That's gonna be a defensive feature later on, but right now it saves us from the monsters. I only need three planks for this. Okay, and hopefully the monsters aren't too close. Okay, I can sleep. Perfect. Looks like I have a visitor. Howdy, neighbor. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you for the bow. Love them dropping little gifts on my doorstep. Power three is not bad, not terrible. Like, it's not good, but it's not bad. I'll keep it. Uh, let's put away my wood for now. to watch how I say things. All right. And let's go. Well, I know, sir. Fine every second. No, seriously. No, I'm not that hyper. No, not at all. You're not hyper at all. All right. Because <laughs> I, I think it's fun. You bring a lot of energy here, and I appreciate it. Part of the hype game. Riding the hype train. That's a little bit of an excessive curve, but uh, I, I still need to, br to bring this a little closer to the moat here. So uh, I'm going to actually bring this out another four blocks and then I'm going to bring it to five in this direction. And we'll continue. Let's place my grass block here. 
No, no, I'm actually trying really hard to, sen to censor myself. Like, <laughs> I I I it's a really bad habit of mine to swear. Like <laughs> I'm losing my ability to censor myself in ordinary conversation and I, I can see how that uh, turns off certain people. And uh well, it, it's not that I'm, like, trying not to offend anybody, it's more like I just, uh... My, my real issue with uh, my constant swearing is that I, I feel like it limits me, uh... It limits my vocabulary. I, I kind of use swearing like a crutch. Uh, you know, it, it, it's too easy, like, when I'm stumbling for words to just slip in the occasional left word or, uh or like uh, say like damn I, I don't I don't know it's like <laughs> you know so like I'm, I'm trying to uh, well I, I, like I, I need to start thinking more often about what I say instead of just allowing the first words to, to fly out my mouth and not swearing anymore is kind of part of exerting that control over myself Like there's some there there's some content you know that uh, well like Skyrim for instance I won't be able to help it I get killed you know it's like <laughs> screw those skeletons right but uh, otherwise like especially with Minecraft which is more of a kids game in the first place and it's naturally going to attract a younger audience I I definitely need to start watching myself. Like, I'm starting to become very conscious of the fact that many streamers or public figures are role models to younger individuals, and uh, they will emulate us over, over a long period of time. And, uh, like, I, I want to avoid being a bad influence. What were you thinking yesterday? That your maze needs more lights? I think your maze needs more green glow sticks. Yeah, see, I think Toasty agrees. But to add more content. Alright, so lights are part of content. Make the entire maze all over again even slower because it needs better collision than just the model. <laughs> oh, no, man. You're gonna spend your life down in that maze. It's gonna flash before your eyes. You'll be an old man by the time it's done. <laughs> Hope I didn't scare you off with that, man, because I really do want to play that maze. Oh, thanks for the... Thanks for the extra follow there. Really appreciate your broken mouse. Man, I thought that this uh, alternative account had already given my channel a follow, like, but I appreciate it if you had more alternative accounts and played the numbers right. I think that's enough for cobblestone and stone brick. Going to lay out my andesite like this. Not too much in the center this time. Like, I'm gonna, gonna kind of intermittently space that out, I think. Armies made of armies. I see these are just like your minions. Minions controlling your channels. so good. I'm, yeah, I said this already, but I'm really liking the way that this texture is unfolding. I, like, dirty little secret here. I spent some time on Google yesterday just uh, looking up ideas uh, and trying to really grasp just what kind of look I wanted for this area. Uh, I, I, I do put some thought into this stuff, guys. <laughs> you know, a little bit, like the bare minimum. And, uh, like, I didn't get any names of the users. But, um, uh, like, this is eventually something that I kind of settled on here. I, and I, I really like that. I'm going to need some half slabs. 
Like, you'll notice everything except the gravel you can make half slabs out of. Oh, and the dirt, I guess, but I can use maybe some spruce uh, half slabs for that. I think that would look pretty nice. And I have to bring this out a little bit, so let's have some andesite here. Gravel in the center. Want that intermittently. Just want that really seldomly and frequently. Then dirt. Uh, more andesite here, gonna be a little thicker in this area. Then gravel. Coarse dirt. Is that too much coarse dirt? No, that's just right, actually. Thought that might is a might. If it turns out fine, obviously I'm not gonna do that. Either. If there's a glitch too, that you just escape the map, whatever. That'd be kind of fun. If we could just cheese your way out of the maze. And then there's like little signs or traps or something that you run into. Just <laughs> bug the heck out of the area around it. But yeah, this, this is going much more quickly than I thought. I really like this. I really like this path. Man, I'm, I'm getting more excited about this. And once again, thank you guys so much for spending this morning with me. It's really nice out there. I love the snow. Potitos. <laughs> hey, how are you doing, Professor Rabo? Thank you for joining the channel, man. I really appreciate you. I know that this says that, uh, like, this is a mature channel, but I'm really trying hard to curb the, the potty language. The, I'm, I'm thinking about possibly making this channel more family friendly, specifically because I do Minecraft channels, uh, Minecraft content. So if you could please watch that, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Professor Robbo is a real life friend of mine. Who, like, I'm really grateful that you're in here hanging out with me too, man. Like, the Skyrim content is gonna be later on this week. Right now, I'm, I'm just, you know, building a road. This is kind of why I don't play on Xbox, because all my content is on my computer here. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Espanol is bueno. Uh, no English, but for what? You, make it, you couldn't get back in, you can only use the exit from inside. <laughs> so you have to start at the beginning? That would be perfect. Little Minecraft and Steve faces. I didn't know that you could actually get those emojis on, uh, on Twitch. That's cool. I'm thinking one of my emotes is gonna be uh, Dr. Greenstone's face. Like, the, like, like especially the bald spot. Oh, I'm very proud of this character design. And Professor Ravo, yeah, the, the, this Minecraft character is based off of the Dungeons and Dragons character, Larry. That, that's also kind of where Dr. Greenstone comes from. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, man. I'm starting to, to play on uh, Minecraft Bedrock uh, using my Xbox just a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm working out smaller castle designs. Oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't read that up that above message there, Toasty. Like, your internet is so bad in your room. And Sour Patch, I missed that. I'm in BFEMS, so Signal is going to be going in and out. Pop in when you can. That is absolutely fine, my dude. I understand. <laughs> Wallace would be seen one way only, so you can see the exit but not touch it. <laughs> Just kind of troll a bit. But then that would help them kind of like figure out the direction they needed to go in the maze. So in the in like in the inside of the maze, you would have to really subvert their expectations, I think. Close the gates. 
Check this out, Robo. This is, I'm really proud of this. It's my function pork this. And um, those fence posts are actually solid blocks, so mobs can't actually see through those, so they won't aggro towards you. Like, see how he's just kind of chilling out there in the entrance, and he's not locked on me? So that's a really nice feature about this design. I'm going to need to readjust this porculus in the future and make it so it raises three high, because I want people to be able to ride their horses in here and not bang their heads on the raised porculus. I gotta take care of this guy. Let's go over here when I, where I don't really care about anything just in case I don't kill him in time. It's still not an exploit, but it's still an exploit, but not a complete exploit. Yeah. Like, but it, it could be used uh, to kind of, like, cheese out the directions a little bit. Just, hold on a second, I want to take a look at the shape of this rotunda from here. I think this would actually look much better if I just place dirt blocks right here. I might want to raise the road, but I think it's better if I just keep the road more flat and I'll kind of just uh, do kind of, uh, like, I think I'll have a road sign here, maybe a billboard. Uh, some bushes along the way. That'll help really, like, thicken up the place. I want to take care of this guy real quick. Because I, I don't need a magro to me right now. And we have plenty of sheep. Dang it! <laughs> yeah, of course, man. Got a lot of work to put in still. Godspeed, Broken Mouse, you're doing great. Keep up the good work, man. Okay. Helps me clear some inventory, too, to move all this out of here. Let's kind of repair this, kind of get a natural... Uh, slope shape here. Maybe remove these two blocks. Because again, we're going to be using all of this to build on it. These might not be the shapes we settle on, but uh, well, that'll be so. Like, we can always fill up that later. <laughs> you can see I've been here quite a while. Have lots of little presents from the Enderman. There's so much besides the maze to do, but one can only dream until the maze is done. Yeah, your life is on hold until that maze is finished. It's controlling your life. I'm just getting around a little bit, but I might have hit that on the nose too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to make it feel like... I don't want to make you feel like you have to get it done, dude. Because then that just becomes a chore, and it's not so much a passion project anymore. So if I'm if I if you feel like I'm pressure like pressuring you too much about the maze, then just let me know, man. Yeah, and I really appreciate you popping in, Robo. It's good to see you, man. I hope we'll get a chance to hang out sometime in the future. Oh, and like if you haven't left yet, I'm starting to lift a little bit. Like I'm getting back into it, like slowly but surely. But more bodybuilding this time around than powerlifting. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I've, uh, like, because of health issues, I've had to eat more cleanly lately. And, uh, like, it, it's starting to show. Like, I'm, I'm really getting some clear definition here. I, I'm, I'm getting really excited about it. Like, not bench pressing or anything, but lots of push-ups, lots of body weight squats. And, uh, I'm supplementing with dumbbell exercises for shoulders and uh, arms and whatnot, and, uh, like, I've, I've been following uh, this Tyson workout, where Mike Tyson would do, like, 10 sets of, of 50 push-ups, uh, shrugs, bench dips, uh, squats, and uh, sit-ups, like, throughout the day. 
and, and that's the eventual goal. I want to be able to do at least that. He would also, like, intermittently change that with, like, five sets of 100. And uh, if I can make it to that level of athleticism, man, I'll be very happy. But uh, I, I don't see that happening for a bit. <laughs> it's more of other features like a timer and stuff. And no, you don't feel pressured? That's good, man. Because I, I know that uh, sometimes, like, I, I bring expectations up too high in my audience or on myself. And that kind of freezes me up a bit at times. So, like, that, that's something that I can kind of relate to. But I'm not trying to project on you, my friend. If you're not feeling pressured and you're working well in this, like, more power to you, dude. Alright. Just gotta lay out some stone bricks here. Just wanna... Like, I'm trying to avoid patterns. Like, you see, like... I, I kind of have the same pattern repeating itself right there. I don't like that, so I'm gonna bring this stone brick right here, just to break up that a little bit. Uh, and, uh, let's see. I'm gonna want another stone brick right here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I, I just want to catch these details as I go along, so there's less adjustments later on. Uh, let's go straight here, then we'll go probably right here then diagonal straight line like so yeah yeah I'm really liking that I'm really liking that guys and if you're just dropping by to hang out and lurk thank you so much for chilling with me man uh, I play Minecraft on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, the time varies, but if you join my Discord, Stream Elements is pumping that down in the comments section. Uh, I give frequent updates uh, on any schedule changes, and uh, if you'd like to join our community, we occasionally do community gaming days. Uh, it, this is labeled as a mature channel, and uh, well, <laughs> like some of our guys get a little bit wild, and I'm sorry about that. So if that's not really like something you want to be exposed to, then you don't have to join. Uh, I'm also going to be uh, posting more frequently on my Facebook page. I have my schedule posted there, but uh, like I also uh, uh, occasionally drop pictures of uh, what I'm working on here, or small little clips or updates of uh, recent events or things that occurred while I was streaming. And uh, we have a YouTube page. I have one tutorial so far that's five minutes long on Netherbed Mining. I actually am planning on getting back into that. Because I, I was very surprised when I logged in to see that that video has almost 300 views. And it has like 10 likes and no dislikes. That is very encouraging. So I, I, I think that certain people have found that uh, valuable content and... Uh, well, I have a few ideas involving end rating and uh, possibly enchanting, and uh, I think I'm going to make the five minute Minecraft series on YouTube uh, like more survival, uh, survival based. Like it, it's going to be advice and it's uh, like very short, specific instructions on how to successfully like do certain things in survival mode. <sighs> But I still just kind of have to push myself into that. It's much easier just to stream than it is to make video content. But that's that's a little bit lazy. That's a, that's a bit of a lazy excuse. And I really need to invest more effort into that YouTube channel. So, uh, starting yesterday, when I dumped to my uh, Skyrim uh, Let's Play onto there, I'm going to begin posting more on YouTube. I'm eventually going to get... Uh, uh, stream OBS Prime, which will allow me to, uh, words, man, that will allow me to stream simultaneously on both Twitch and YouTube, and, uh, I'm really hoping that does a lot to grow our community. But moving back to this, got a few more blocks I want to place, just getting this objective look here up. This could use a few more cobblestone pieces. Like, I especially need them on the edges here. 
I think that I might come along here later and replace some of these stone bricks with cracked stone bricks. See how this, I just made that three wide by accident. I don't want to do that. So I think I can get away with placing a cobblestone brick here. Uh, and uh, yes, my YouTube channel should be down in the channel description for Twitch. If you please want to check that out, I, I would appreciate it. <laughs> I really only have one video worth watching, but I think you'll get value out of it. Shameless self-promotion out of the way. I think it's also going to be valuable to me if I switch out some of these uh, cobblestone and brick pieces with uh, stairs. Kind of give the road a bit more depth. So let's get a cobblestone here. Nope, not there. I want my dirt to be here. Here. Another piece of cobble. And I almost forgot, I need to layer in some gravel first before I really get heavy handed with the course dirt. Getting a little ahead of myself, guys. <laughs> oh, it's already getting dark out. Man, where does the day go? Spending it all, all my days down here in the basement. <laughs> I'm gonna come up and it's gonna be nighttime. That's a little, hidden a little too close to home. <laughs> I need to stop complaining about that now. Uh, occasionally we're going to have some stone bricks on the side here. I don't like that. You see how that makes nearly a long vertical line? I think instead some andesite. Oh, of course, that's what I was missing. I haven't placed down enough andesite. I was thinking, you know what? This looks a little too thick gravel-wise, and there's too many spaces for coarse dirt. Oh... I need to go grab some andesite real quick. I should probably fill up my inventory so I have, I can stop making so many frequent trips. But this road is really starting to come along, guys. It's, it's, it's getting nice and lengthy. I'm getting, I'm getting hyped, man. I should also probably get a stone cutter. Hold on a second. Coffee break. Only need a few minutes for coffee here. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll get some mossy cobblestone, mossy bricks. I think that would look. I think that would look pretty good. But while I'm thinking about it, I don't want to have to run a hundred blocks. What, what kind of animal am I? We fly here. We have wings. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. But I, I am kind of lazy and I like flying. <laughs> Gonna place this on top of uh, our crafting table. And uh, it is worth your time to make a stone cutter if you don't have one in your world. Uh, because uh, of the value you get making staircases. So let me just demonstrate real quick. If I take this stack of cobblestone right here, I'll use a smaller stack. I can get a one for one trade value. Like, you'll notice that if I were to make stairs uh, in the crafting table right here, for six cobblestone, I only get four stairs. But for the stone cutter, I get six. So I find that to, to be a very useful and, and valuable thing. The stone cutter, will, will, it doesn't seem like much. And it's, it, like, it may provide the same service that you already get from a crafting table. But it does help you conserve resources in the long run, and I would strongly recommend it. Okay. Gotta put away my bones. There's a nice little place to put all my mob stuff right now. The floor is now a different color than the walls. I'd hope so, that would be really disorienting if it was all the same color. <laughs> I can just imagine. Alright, I need some andesite. Do I have any here, or am I going to have to go fly out and grab some? Yep, I need to go and grab some, so hold on a second. Okay, andesite. Here we go. Perfect, got whole stacks. Three whole stacks, but that should be just enough. It's my own personal stash right there. Like, we have an automated storage hall, but, uh, 
completes and complete. <laughs> That's going to be the community storage hall access, where everybody will have access to it eventually. But I still need my own personal stash for building, because like El Chimborado is kind of my home base. It's my city. You know? And there are some resources that I, I just need to have on hand. So I can't wait to have that storage hall, and I can't wait to use it. But I'm still going to be using those warehouses for my own personal uh, use. And <laughs> that sounded a little bit redundant. See, I need to stop swearing so much. And then I'll be able to think of words more clearly. Like, at least I hope that's how it's going to work. Just gonna replace little pieces here and there. Went a little heavy handed with the cobblestone in this area, so I'm gonna knock a few pieces out and replace them with my andesite here. And then some andesite in the corners. Sort of uh, like I'm not trying to rip off L, but it's exactly like L from Death Note. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a bit of a weeb. I'm sorry. Uh, I found that it does help me, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, it's only the starting area that's changed. The actual maze has water on the floor. Yeah, I suppose. That would have really helped like, like break up the flat textures. Although, you might want to have, like, the same solid texture along the wall so that there wouldn't be a real reference point and make it easier to feel lost inside of it. Like, that's precisely why I put down differentiated textures on the walls so that it kind of helps uh, feel uh, like it gives you the impression that you've actually moved and that uh, you, you've gone a distance inside of my area. so nice that looks so nice wrapping around like this gonna just carefully hug it up to here this is where I'm gonna stop building for now because I need to terraform this cliffside a little bit before I can bring the moat up and I can bring uh, the path any further oh man but that, this ooh, this is beautiful not trying to toot my own horn I'm just very excited about this I can't wait to update the maps too my goodness, guys. Actual progress. So you're close to and looking at a wall, you see nothing. <laughs> the only way to see detail is the fog. Which reveals detail in front of you with the wave. <laughs> oh no. So you have to travel a certain distance to see in front of you. Oh, this maze sounds like it's gonna be a nightmare. No wonder why it's driving you insane. <laughs> I can see where some of the craziness is coming from now. <laughs> uh, you mad bastard. 
You're doing great, dude. Keep up the good work. People will know my pain is like nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you found one heck of a way to, like, translate that. <laughs> You're gonna just make people feel like Alzheimer's patients walking into that thing. It's like, oh, where am I? I don't, was that there before? Billy! Billy, where's the path? down, Billy! I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm not trying to be ageist. I just watch a lot of, a lot of South Park and Stan's dad, like Stan's grandpa, uh, he's, he's left his impression on me. <laughs> There's no looking down the hall. There is no getting close to see better. There is no joy. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Bro, why? You're just in the business of punking people. <laughs> like, bro! You're gonna see me lose my mind when I finally get to play this on the stream, man. Maybe make it a competition. See who can escape first. Or if we all just get trapped in there forever. And we all just slowly go insane. <laughs> oh man, it sounds like you're really enjoying yourself doing that too, which is fantastic, man. I can't wait to see this thing. Nothing better to lose yourself in than a passion project. A timer is set before. You can compare times. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I bet the, fo the uh, fog of illusion is going to make it more difficult to do repeat runs. So there's going to be def definitive replayability value in it. I respect it. I spec it hard, bro. I think this is the pattern that I want. I'm going to have a couple of stone bricks, like, very infrequently placed on the edge here. Last one I placed was right there, so perfect, perfect. Okay, so next is going to be these cobblestone, and I will be knocking out a few of these pieces here and there to place the uh, stairs. I just want to have like a good flat texture before I put in uh, any depth to it. I've said this before, and I'll continue to say it: it's that shape is the most important aspect of your builds. You want like you can uh, texturize anything but unless it has a good shape it's never going to look exactly right uh, I, I'm going about this roundabout I didn't explain this well at all I'm sorry <laughs> uh, how can I say this uh, if you make a box for a house you can make that box any color palette you want you can texturize it in any way you can trim it but unless you give it an aesthetic form, it's never going to seem truly appealing. It, it, like, I don't have a better uh, euphemism than this. It's kind of like putting diamonds on a turd. <laughs> you can make that turd as sparkling and shiny as you want, but it's still going to be shaped like a poop. It's <laughs> like if you make the poop out of solid gold, then it'll look like golden poop. It's not... <laughs> It'll never be how you want it to be. So the shape is the most important aspect of your builds, first and foremost. And the best way to help you <clears throat> get a clear idea of what you want your shape to be is um, to think of its function. What is the function of your build? Like, what uh, purpose is this thing you're creating going to serve? Is it purely aesthetic or... Like, within your world, does it have a, a purpose? Does it provide something? And uh, in my case, what helped me shape this road was thinking, like, what is this primarily going to be used for? Well, what did the Romans build all their roads for? They built their roads for a quick deployment of their troops, 
and to facilitate uh, better trade with their surrounding territories. So we want this wide and spacious, and we want it to look like it's decently well maintained. And we kind of want it to contour along the slope of our moat here, and uh, to go past our uh, tower so that our defenders, if they see enemy troop movement along this wall, can light them up. We want to deny our enemies access to our roads as much as we want to facilitate trade and allow our own troops to have uh, undisturbed movement. And, uh, like, I'm, like you guys know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, that I'm very much, like, focused on the feasibility and defensibility of my structures. Like, my whole castle build is uh, centered around this premise. And sorry, I wasn't ignoring your broken mouse, I was just going on a little bit of a rant there. Also, if I can fit it in without extending my lifespan, <laughs> I might add a few moving walls. Oh no. <laughs> that's demonic, man, that's savage. Like, how long am I gonna get stuck in this maze for? The rest of my life, probably. And I'm gonna say this now, and hold me to it. You can make a clip out of this broken mouse. Like, I am not going to stop streaming until I complete your maze. So if I'm stuck in there forever, it's gonna be a marathon without any end. I'm very determined to complete that one and done. How are you doing, Sour Patch? Glad to have you back. You driving right now? Well, you probably have uh, voice to text, right? So I. Like, you're, you're, you're a grown man who knows what you're doing. I shouldn't be too concerned about that. That's good, dude. Just trying to make sure my homies are safe. Real homies tuck in their homies at night and all that. Oh, we have a visitor. Is that a drowned? That's a drowned. How did... How are you wearing all of this armor? This is actually pretty rare. Drowns you? He must have been a zombie that uh, that fell in the lake here. So let's just take care of him, put him out of his misery real quick. Not so cool the future that I want to keep him, you know? I want this road to be safe. I want people to feel nice and comfortable when they try and access the glorious realm of, well... Guys, I need to rename my realm. I'm not comfortable keeping it as El Chingarado. Like, uh, it, it's, in, it's in Spanish, but uh, uh, Chingar is a, a very... Uh, it, it's an incredibly vulgar term that, like, I finally took the time to, to read and all to the contextual uh, implications of that slant of uh, that term, and I'm just... It, it's a, a little more forceful than just the city of fucking, if you know what I mean. So I need I need to change the name. I need to na change the name of my realm. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, well the maze is 271 by 271. Yeah! That's enormous, actually. In Minecraft, like, you wouldn't be able to see the edges of the thing, I don't think. Well, actually, 8 chunks is 16, so 16 times 8 would be 32 times 4, which is 128, so that's 252. So yeah, you wouldn't be able to see the outside edges if that were rendering in my realm. So that's enormous. <laughs> that's actually really enormous. I gotta clear this. A little bit of space on this hill right here is a little bit too high. That's also this is really satisfying. Just getting rid of all of this grass right here. Like insta ticking blocks in Minecraft is one of the most satisfying feelings like you can have in gaming. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm going to. Like, I, I've been kind of hyping this for months, because I'm actually genuinely excited about this maze of yours, man. I used to draw mazes all the time when I was in first grade, second grade. Like, my friends and I kind of, like, it, it, it was kind of our competition, you know, who can make, the, like, the hardest maze in, in our group of friends. And, uh, 
my my buddies tried to do a whole bunch of nonsensical things that uh, kind of like they had to explain it like you no you need to hop over these islands <laughs> like you can't like you know what I mean but uh, I, I took pride in uh, my maze drawn abilities I don't know if I still have my uh, my sketchbook somewhere but if I ever find my sketchbook of mazes I would love to share it with you man because I went hard for a little bit. I guess that's why I'm also kind of fixated on your progress here. Alright, I think I actually need to... Uh, no, that should be fine. This is gonna happen staggered for two blocks here. Uh, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm confusing myself a bit. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I found it. Sorry, I don't instant take it away. There we go. Now that's looking a little bit more symmetrical here, guys. So close to almost finishing. I think I'm just going to take this right up to the edge, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the pallets. And then we'll finally get to do our flyover and take our first real look at the road leading to our room. I'm so excited. I just can't hide. Softly lengthening out the curve a bit. El Cuberado. <laughs> the city of cubes. <laughs> like, I like the direction of your thoughts there. Like, I can make that work, probably. Uh, it doesn't have quite the same ring to it, but it's definitely a start, and it's, it's much more preferable than El Cuberado. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what was I thinking naming it El Chingarado? I, this is why I need to take my Spanish lessons more seriously. I stopped, uh, I stopped paying attention to Duolingo like a week and a half ago. I need to get back on that. And start looking up some of the Spanish slang that I've been using. I probably sound like such a dumb, ignorant white guy using it. Just very uncomfortable. Taking that little bit of self, a little bit of time to self-reflecting on. Okay, gotta fill up this creeper hole. That's also the nice thing about getting all this done. Is, like this area in front of the wall, you know, it, it, it was rather appealing. It was, uh, it had a good shape to it. But uh, with all the endermen and creepers that have been running by here, it was slowly starting to take on a look of like Swiss cheese. It's like there were mice nibbling at it. And um, this is a, uh, such a good feeling to be taming this land just a bit more and really conforming it uh, to a uh, visual aesthetic of our city here. And I think we're just going to keep the path straight right here. Because this moat is going to hug uh, and wrap around a little bit. Tantarado. El Tantarado, uh, it, mm, it's close. What does it mean? Like, it, it doesn't, like, it, it's a lot of hard consonants, and I liked how it started, like, El Chingarado. It, 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 it's, uh, it, it rolls off the tongue really well, most like does, actually. The stupid city. 
El Tantarado. Perfect. Perfect, man. Now, is that like. Does that literally mean stupid, or is it slang for like dumbass or something? But no, that would be pendejo, wouldn't it? extend this. Alright, that's settled then. The realm's new name is going to be El Tantarado. I like it. it, it it's, a, <laughs> it's definitely an improvement. Like, El Chingarado will be the name that I probably give this privately amongst my group of friends, but I, I really need something to call this publicly, you know, I just very uncomfortable allowing it to be made as El Chingarado. <laughs> well, sometimes I definitely feel like the things that I do in this city are kind of stupid, so it, it, it's fitting, it works. I like it. I really like it. Much needed stretch there, my friend. I'm gonna have to get myself into the habit of calling it that. El Tantarado. So how did you learn Spanish, man? Was it self-taught, or did you have lessons in school? If you took a guess, you'd say the maze is about one-ninth or so done? Dang, you're really putting in a lot of work if that's... Oh no! messed up again <laughs> I keep missing these guys oh, and there's a witch there we go he should be there no nope. he managed to explode before the fire killed him there's so many creeper holes and little dirt blocks from the enderman oh this is pretty upsetting tone tarado Diego was a little kid and took Spanish in high school. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I took Spanish while I was in the uh, seventh and eighth grade. Like only like the most rudimentary things stuck. But where I learned the majority of my Spanish was from Vete a la Berge, like a Flash of Bits uh, cartoon from uh, Newgrounds.com. And uh, from my friends, uh, many of my friends, including my girlfriend, are Hispanic. So, like, a, a few things just kind of stuck, you know? And then, like a child, I just like repeating things that I find funny, even if I don't understand the concept of them. <laughs> it's one of those things that makes me believe that I'm, I might be a little bit on the spectrum. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not that work. Actually, you're yeah, actually being lazy. Well, if you consider yourself to be in. Like, who am I to dispute you, broken mouse? Yeah, I'm liking this shape so far. Yeah, oh, no, I already did that kind of L back there, so I'm gonna take that. Then I want to do a different shaped L right here. Do I have the stone? Not really. I need just a few more stone bricks. And I'm gonna need some stone staircases too. Stone brick staircases, I need to say. I, I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look at the road yet. It's not done. I I, I, I need to have that, that final purview, you know, that it, once I'm done, then I'll do the full flyover. Then I'll check it out. Then, I, then I'll let myself be happy about it. I already took a glance earlier. That was just to help me stay motivated. You know what I mean? But let's get our stone bricks, then I actually am going to put half of these in here. If I don't use all of them, that's okay. And uh, it looks like I have the cobblestone stairs, and I'll use whatever andesite I have left over to make a couple of those. And that's really going to help us get some depth, instead of just allowing it to be a flat line. Maybe somewhere around 25 pixels done every day. Ah, that's fine. Very thorough if you're doing it pixel by pixel. 
It's admirable, man. And a 271 by 271 pixel layer. Like, dude, <laughs> that's really actually insane. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to divide that mentally, and I can't. Like, I think 25 would be 5 by 5, and if you divided 271 by 271 by 5 by 5, like, just doing one row of that would be... Oh, I'd have to say... 50 of those square areas. That's, that's really crazy. You should see your streams about your desk. I really should. Is that on your broken mouse channel? Like, which channel do you stream on? More accurate translation. Would it be the city of goofing around? That also works. I like that, because it has a double meaning within itself. The stupid city or the city of goofing around? I like it. I really do, man. Because the city is kind of stupid where I do stupid things, and I goof around a lot in it. I like it, man. I really do. Okay, I think that's good enough. Got the textures where I want them to be for that. Take this all the way to the end here. One right there. A couple more right there. A few more right here. And I think my uh, jazz music is about to run out. I think once I'm done with this road and uh, the jazz music runs out, that's when I'll take a small break, you know, to relieve myself and uh, to work out some of the cramps. I'll only be gone for about five minutes before I come right back. I promise, guys. Stream on broken, but you might starting on user. Ah, I see. So do you prefer OB do you prefer Streamlabs over OBS? Cause I, I was against Streamlabs at first until I really started to understand the programming aspects of streaming. And uh, now I'm like I'm far more tolerant of Streamlabs. I've really cooled down on that issue. I, I find it to be a useful OBS. that one be gravel. That's another one that'll be gravel, and so this one. Oh my goodness, it's almost done, guys. It's almost done. Yeah. Like, I, I just need to, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to stay patient, not let myself get too squirrely here. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I want to make it a clean hour and a half before I take my break. Gotta work on my self-control a little bit. Need to discipline myself more. I don't know, maybe just get a urinal like my dad has. <laughs> no, no, I won't do that. You more resent Streamlabs? <laughs> I kind of do as well. It seems to kind of, uh, like, just adjusting the overlaps on Streamlabs uh, requires you to invest in them, like, uh, Streamlabs Prime. And that, I have to be honest, is an aspect of it that I resent as well. I, I don't feel like I should be having to pay money for many of the services it provides, such as, you know, being able to stream on YouTube, which I discussed earlier in the stream. I'm, I'm considering, like splitting up my stream and uh, broadcasting on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously because I've, I've really been uh, looking into this and I don't think that Twitch has much of a future in uh, game streaming. Like, I think it's going to go the way of Grinder or Mixer. Grinder is the gay one. Oh, like, <laughs> no, I mean Mixer. 
I think that uh, Twitch might be going the way of Mixer if it doesn't change some of its uh, like uh, unfriendly habits towards users. So I'm 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 starting to eye like which ship to bail onto. And uh, YouTube, uh, you know, as much as I dislike how much control Google has been asserting uh, over the internet space uh, in the past few years. It's like people prefer them as a platform because they're just competent. Like, they're very on top of the platform, and uh, while they do have issues with, like, monetization strikes and whatnot, like, uh, like they, give their, uh, they give their streamers and their producers more of a chance to uh, fight DMCA strikes than Twitch does, for sure. you'll always use OBS. Like, I might go into OBS once I learn more about overlays. I think that my roommate might be streaming some of his gameplay for uh, Super Smash Ultimate. And uh, he's looking into overlays too. So I think I'll be able to figure out this a little bit better if I'm working together with my friend here. But until then, uh, I'm going to be sticking to Streamlabs just for ease of good, ease of use. Like I hardly get time down here as it is, you know. I can't wait. I can't spend too much of it just learning how to do things better. Though I suppose I can always like use my time on my cell phone upstairs to research too. I just feel more like tuned in while I'm down here, you know. I feel more focused and relaxed, and, and uh, more receptive towards the information. There's a lot of things that go into it. Okay. Oh, hold on. There, I should have been able to sleep. Betty, bye! Okay. Oh, wrong way. I'll just close that back up so I don't have any uh, visitors. Oh my goodness, that's starting to look really good. As soon as we get the, the little uh, ruts on the side of the road, this is going to be done and it's going to look fantastic, guys. I can feel it. And then after my break, I'm going to start landscaping and I think that's when this build is really going to start to shine. Podsole on the sides here, along with uh, these path blocks. I think that will also really help out with the, the uh, broken up look that'll help it kind of blend into the environment. I think I have a little bit of Podsole over here. No, I don't actually. It might be worth my time to grab a few of those blocks next time I grow some spruce trees. As a matter of fact, I think that's going to be part of my next grinding session, so I'm going to get some Podsole along with more wood. Spruce is always my go-to uh, when I need to, uh, like, mass-produce uh, logs. Well, just because it's so easy to, to grind them out, especially when you have elytra. All you have to do is fly to the top and chop straight down. It's super cinchy. Okay. Ooh, so close, so close. Oh my goodness, guys. Oops don't actually want this torch here yet. I'm gonna have to think uh, about some creative ways to get lighting here. I don't want to just have a bunch of lanterns every five blocks. It cleaned up some of the more dumb stuff from the suggestion box. <laughs> Thanks, man. But I listened to Shinra's advice. Pickled Rick is now gonna be a permanent feature in my streams. He was before, but uh, my but uh, my uh, uh, previous setup, like how I positioned everything before, kept uh, knocking him back into the closet here. Okay, and this should do it. You guys ready for this flyover? Oh man, you know I am. 
want to get rid of these torches, though. To more or less complete the effect. And we'll be coming back here and working with the terraforming and we'll slip in. You can see I have like a few carpet areas along here. No, no I don't. I'm going to have to change that. But, uh... <laughs> alright, alright. As soon as I knock out these torches here, we're going to be ready for the flyover. I'm so happy with this. And then after the terraforming, I think I'm going to need to put some... Uh, uh, I'm going to see where I can fit lighting naturally, and then I'll put post, uh, I'll put uh, the hanging lanterns and street signs where we can't fit it, but here we go, look at that. Oh, this is so nice. There's some shit going down, okay. Look at that, guys, it's done. It looks a little bit thin on this side, we'll have to trim up that area. The rotunda, I'm still not sure exactly how I'm going to lay that out. But the road itself for now is looking so nice, guys. I think I'm going to clear out these blocks right here. Let grass grow on them. Ah, I see. I thought this area looked a little thin. It's because, yeah, this uh, coarse dirt, okay, that kind of made it look thinner in contrast with the hill right here. Maybe when it grows back, it'll look better, but for now, we're just going to put some gravel there. Give it a thicker look. Thank you, man. Uh, love it when hard work pays off like this, right? Except that it didn't really feel hard at all. It was very relaxing. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I was building that. I'm going to go and uh, AFK in uh, my porkless area here. And this is going to be my five minute break. I'll be back, um, well, yeah, in five minutes. <laughs> See you guys then. All right. Dude, you have to. I'll check out, I'll check out whatever it is you make if you get, if you want to show it to me.
switch this back to a live scene. Alright, just gotta make sure everything is adjusted here. Okay, good, good. That's all set, that's all set. Then we're good. Thanks, man. Always oh, great to be back with all of you. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I forgot. <laughs> I didn't change the tag for this game to Minecraft. You know, things are starting to make sense now. Like, it says that I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077. So, let me adjust <laughs> which game I'm playing for the tag. Uh, <laughs> whoops. And I'll change the title too because now that I know that I want to call it El Tantarado, that is what I'm going to put in the title here. And I just need to confirm with Sour Patch, like how it's spelled exactly. Okay, the road to El Tantarado. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that, that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay, he says Minecraft. Yep, yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. And besides, like, Minecraft gets almost as many views as a Cyberpunk 2077. Like, I'm just a very neglectful and forgetful individual. <laughs> So I'm sorry about any confusion to anybody who's joined this channel in the past few minutes or past hour and a half and, and, and had their expectations subverted. <laughs> well, thanks for believe thanks for believing in my better nature there, broken mouse. <laughs> oh gosh. That's still embarrassing. <laughs> Whoops! Well, that's fixed now. That's that's fixed. That's better. Things are better now. Oh, and Toasty Flamingos gave me a follow, and I didn't even notice. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Sour Patch, if you're reading, if you're hit, hit, listening to this right now, please apologize to your daughter for me for not noticing that she gave me a follow. I didn't even notice that it came up. I didn't get a notification from the OBS. Streamer did good streamer thing. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing even leaving right now? It's dark out. It's scary. There are monsters, and they're gonna put more holes in my stuff. Thank you so much, Sour Patch. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate your daughter for following along with me, too. I didn't want to make it feel like I was ignoring her. But as just established, I, I am very, very, uh... Like, I space out a lot. <laughs> kind of, I, 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 I miss some things along the way. Not, that is not deliberate. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to knock out a few of these pieces here. Uh, not very, like, close together, but not terribly far apart either. Like, every five to ten blocks or so, I'm going to take one of my cobblestone or stone brick pieces, and uh, I'm going to uh, yeah, make a little stone gap here. Oh, dude, Ganon already made affiliate? I'm actually not surprised. Most of his streams, when I come on, he has like 10 people at once. Like, he's grown so quickly, and he really deserves it. It looks like he puts a lot of effort in the background into his streams and his content. I'm a little jealous, honestly. He started, <laughs> he started like three weeks ago, and he's already made affiliate. But congratulations to Shenan Ganon. <laughs> he's a really good guy. And he deserves all the progress he's getting so far. Please, if you have the time after this, check out Shenanigan. S-H-U-H-N-A-N-A-G-A-N-O-N. -N -A -N -N. He streams on Twitch, and he posts Let's Play content on YouTube. Also under the name Shenanigan. Family-friendly content, and he works his butt off. Yeah, I can tell. Like, he's put a lot of thought into the backdrop for his area. And, um, that's one of the things that somewhat inspired me to change up the background of my setting. You'll notice I have the light off. 
and I'm relying on the light from the monitor itself to illuminate everything, and I do think this provides a more relaxing atmosphere, a better backdrop. Like, I, I, I actually had to take the time to study his content, not just watch it, because he's really doing a lot of good things with his stuff. You shout out Janana? Saving my games and projects every 12 seconds. Even I don't do anything and just come back to it after a bit. Yeah, like I'm the same way. Like, I want to get into video creation, especially with my 5 minute Minecraft tutorials. But, uh, like, I've just. <laughs> Like, I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of a topic that I could do better than most other people, and I think that's, like, more imposter syndrome than anything else. Because I do think that there is a space to have very short, to-the-point uh, tutorials on YouTube. And that because it's not he a heavily monetized niche, that many people avoid that sort of thing. And I'm not really in it for the money. But I just have to, you know, get past whatever creative block I have. I, I really want to start uh, posting more content on YouTube. And uh, I, I'd be lying if I said that Shenanigan didn't inspire me to get on YouTube uh, as well, because, like, even his Let's Plays are doing very well. Everything that guy does, he does pretty well. But, uh, like, Sour Patch. Uh, what specific command is that, and how can I adjust it so that it functions? Like, if you have it, like, if you know it off the top of your head and don't have to look it up, because I know you're driving right now. any content to put on YouTube, so you only stream. Stream my desk, my desk, I stream some weird shit. <laughs> if it makes you happy, man, stream whatever you like. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, he has a theater background. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to have to adjust that in stream elements to make sure that my shoutout command is working. It should be. I'm going to have to d talk with my grandmother a little bit. My grandmother was actually a uh, college professor in Edgewood, Madison, Wisconsin, where she led the theater department for over two decades. Uh, she has... Uh, led more than 500 separate theater projects and has been from everywhere from Chicago to New York as a student but she also has uh, three bachelors and a master's very impressive lady and I need to spend more time learning from her stream my desk for nine hours one time you're the best at desk <laughs> <laughs> That's thrilling content that I'm sure everybody wanted to see. <laughs> but hey man, did you get any followers from it? Because <laughs> you never know. Somebody must have thought, like, clicked on that and thought, like, hmm, mahogany. That's a good, that's a good material. Very sturdy and durable. Mahogany. That's a fun word to say. Uh, rambling a bit, I'm sorry. Got it. Like that soft drum beat in the background, it kind of makes it sound like somebody with snow pants is walking by, doesn't it? Like, shh, shh. <laughs> so it kind of like throwing me off. I'm looking around. It's like, who's there? Show yourself. 
Curse you, villain! Okay, I'm gonna need some half slabs. That should do. This should do. Not too many, I don't need a lot. Like so. Alright. Let's throw them in like so. And I think I'm gonna wrap this around. distance visually, but how the build looks uh, from up close, like how it makes you feel as you travel along it. These are all very important things to your build design. And that's one thing that we're trying to emphasize right now. How is it going to feel as you walk along this path with that enormous wall looming over? still done that. The last one was about myself and the other one was my chair. <laughs> now you just forget to leave it running, it happens, you know. Like, I think I've done that a couple of times, too. Shelf, not self. Just like you should put at least some good reading material on it if you're gonna leave it on your shelf. school. We just finished up the road, buddy. About to take a ride on my horse. Just to get a good feel for it. And then you'll see the problem with my pork list in just a second. Charles is a slower horse, but he's my horse. I'm, I'm gonna have to rescue him from atop my castle here. How's it going, buddy? It's been a while. Like, this is a, a very subpar horse. <laughs> but he's my horse, he's my homie. It looks like I'm not running into the issue of actually taking damage from these porcalises. Oh, I did right there, I banged my head on the top of that, uh, on uh, the, the top of that thing thing. But I'm, I'm gonna, I don't really have a, a ramp right here, so I'm just gonna have to get to the lowest point I can and, and uh, jump for it. Sorry, buddy, didn't wanna hurt you. Here we go. A little impromptu honey farm. Plugging along. I'm uh, glad to hear, man. I am too, honestly. <laughs> like, so sometimes I think that I can be a pretty dull individual, so just having somebody stop by and say hi and hanging out with me, it, like, it, it's a great feeling, isn't it? Char Charles, stay here. Don't, don't walk out. Don't walk out, it's dangerous out there. They're bad guys. 25 out of 26? That's really nice, man. I'm glad you're keeping those grades high. That's gonna serve you well in the future. Keep chugging away. Come on, can I activate this? There we go. You can see the jar of his head. But now we're gonna take a stroll along our path. Oh, doesn't this feel great? Oh boy. 
This is gonna be so much better once we have this entire area paved. When we have the moat complete, when we have all those nice little farms in the background. And, uh, form and function. I think I'm gonna have some of the farms that I construct here be automatic. Like, we're gonna give it form outside, we're gonna give them sprawling fields, but on the interior, I'm thinking about building automatic, uh, pumpkin and melon farm. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Trapped between a couple of plaques. Automatic pumpkin and melon farms, carrot farms, wheat farms, that type of thing. I don't particularly need them, but it'll be nice if I want to trade them with my villagers, and we can always, like, assemble some sort of automatic item, fill, uh, item carrier and send them all to our farm, uh, our sorting system down here. But for now, I'm going to stable our friend Charles, along with my skeleton horse. I don't actually have a stable constructed yet. That's going to be coming pretty soon. I've been thinking of a design for that for a while now. Here we go. But these guys are going to be very happy at the blacksmiths where they're getting their horseshoes done. <laughs> like, that's the primary function of the blacksmith. That is, uh, like, he's not an armorer. He's not a swordsmith. He's a blacksmith. So he makes pots and pans and uh, he shoes our horses here. That's the function of a blacksmith specifically within a medieval city. And that's why this guy right here is in the lower province, uh, in the general market area. And uh, the swordsmith, the armorsmith, we're going to have those guys located up in the posh district, closer to the castle, so that they can outfit our troops. <sighs> Thanks, Shinra. You're a fun guy to talk to, too, man. I really appreciate having you on the channel. You can hear my cat in the background, he's hungry. He just woke up, he had a nice long nap next to us, and now he's hungry and he's letting me know it. <laughs> you should have let me know while, during my five minute break. Like, what's going on, Kinsey? Alright, so now it's time to terraform this area. <laughs> it just feels slanted now. Yeah, my, like one of my cats likes to jump up on the TV and rub himself against my TV, my microphone. Like anything that I'm using that I'm, like that's keeping my attention away from him. You know? <laughs> my cats have to have it be all about them. And, and they deserve to have that kind of attention. But like, I, I need my me time too, guys. Come on. Bro, I'm working over here. I'm work. Hey. What's up, man? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Is that what you're saying? You just wanna chill out. You wanna relax with us. You wanna be one of the homies. You just wanted to have some attention. He probably just wants food. <laughs> He's a, a little bit of a chubster. He always steals his food from his brother. Oh uh, yeah, he's trying to get down now. He, he's letting me know he's not happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been really refreshing. Like, kind of changed up the atmosphere, the tone. I, 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 I hope I'm uh, creating a more welcoming environment. And I tweaked the sound quality a little bit. <laughs> With the help of Shenanigan and, and the Sour Patch last night. No, he doesn't want to stay there, I'm afraid. Like, he just uh, he just wants to chill, and he wants to meow at me, and he wants to let me know that I'm not doing my job. That there's a hungry cat there. And he's very disappointed with me. How dare I not feed him? How dare I not drop everything I'm doing to pay more attention to him? <laughs> like, bro! Will you ever be happy, Kinsey? Well, yeah. I was reading the suggestion box the other day, and I remember that you like having him here. Kins, you see his little paws on my shirt? He's just like, bro, please, I'm hungry. Meow. <laughs> my, my guy. K Kins. Must you? Is, is there a reason for this? Of course, I'm just playing dumb at this point. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me message my girlfriend and see if she'll take care of this guy. Alright, I sent her a message. Hopefully she'll get that in the next few minutes here. <laughs> I already took my break though. I, I... The maze will now stop for it is snack time. <sighs> Kenzie, you're killing me here. He's like, you're breaking my heart, man. My itty bitty kitty heart. Aren't you gonna feed me? Okay, guys, I don't think that I'm gonna get much more <laughs> work done here until I, I take care of this very hungry buoy. Like you, 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 no, man, don't, no, don't go on the keyboard. Don't, don't go on the keyboard. All right. Like, you want some food? Kins, you want some food? Now wave hi to the camera. All right, buddy. I guess, uh, I'm taking another five minute break to take care of these little guys. Uh, thank you for being patient with me. I'm going to find a little cave to AFK in. And, uh, then I'm, I'm going to take care of these these, these kitties. <laughs> like, yeah, he is really voicing his displeasure. He, he's letting me know that as, his, as my master, he is displeased with me. <laughs> he, he demands to know if why I don't serve him more loyally. <laughs> hey, guy! Shenanigannon! Man, it's great to have you in here. We were just talking about you, dude. I wanted to congratulate you for making affiliate so fast. Like, you really earned it, dude. I was taking a look at you. Like, I was just admiring your production set yesterday. And uh, some of the things I was noticing, such as, like, the atmosphere you set up, your backdrop, and, um, like, the overall feel of your streams is just phenomenal. You really, I can tell that you put a lot of work into the behind the scenes. And uh, you really deserve making progress as fast as you have. And so, once again, congratulations. This is Shenanigan. If you if you weren't familiar with him already, please go check out his channel. He makes a lot of awesome content. Like his Skyrim Let's Play is a lot of fun to hang with and chill with, and to watch in general. He he's new to the Elder Scrolls, and uh, you know. <laughs> Like, uh, please no backseat gaming, but, uh, otherwise, it's been so much fun. Yeah, of course, dude. Like I said, you really deserved it. We're gonna have to talk sometime, like, later this week. I know that Mind Tricks, uh, I think that Mind Tricks is available for Saturday. Uh, we need to talk about our collab event, where I think we're gonna be playing Among Us, right? <laughs> it's embarrassing, people. No, you're doing fine, dude. This is a little bit of recognition for your hard work, dude. Well, I like to do my streams at around 8 p.m., but I think that we can do it earlier, maybe 6, 7 p.m., if that works better with you guys. I have a very flexible schedule. So, uh, yeah, he does. But, like, don't, don't judge... Like, you're younger, man. Why are you judging? <laughs> but yeah, it's really up to uh, you and Is Butter and uh, Mind Tricks on what time we're going to be streaming. I, I can adapt to whatever you guys decide on. And I was just about to, to take another five minute break. Because, well, you can hear this hungry boy in the background here. He's... Uh, He's, he's not happy with me. He, he's, he's voicing his displeasure. <laughs> and he's, he just wants food, man. He, does, he wants food, and he, does, he doesn't care how or when, but it needs to be in his belly. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm allowed to share that? Yeah. You're 21. 
Wow, you actually looked a little bit younger than that. I'm, I'm surprised you're 21, but uh, <laughs> I, I hope you don't take offense to that. Personally, I love it when people think I'm younger than I actually like than I actually am. It means I'm doing something right, taking care of myself. <laughs> no, it's like I'm an old geezer. I'm, I'm 28. I, I guess that's all for the Twitch community. Oh, I just wanted to show you real quick what I've been working on, Shenanigan. <laughs> Go feed the cat. Okay, okay. But yeah, just lit up this area, put in a nice little road. And uh, now I'm gonna go to uh, my man cave in the porkless area here. I'm gonna go feed some kitties. <laughs> right? We Like, we both require this to survive. Ah, oh, he's just clawing my chair. I'm so sorry, guys. I will be right back.
trying to get everything set up proper here. And there we go, yeah. That all looks, that all looks good. Yep, now I'm back, that's a fact. Yes sir, I'm back. <sighs> back and I'm relaxed. So are the kitties. And Louie managed to get his bowl, and uh, like we, like we actually have to feed uh, Louie on the top shelf of our room, uh, because like Louie, uh, our larger cat, like uh, he is able to jump very high up, and uh, he uh, is a much more graceful lander than Kinsey, and Kinsey with his short stubby legs can't uh, jump that high and can't reach his food on the top shelves. And, uh, like, well, I've, I've talked about this before, but Kinsey is a, a very greedy little cat. <laughs> and, uh, he likes stealing his brother's food whenever he can help it. So, uh, <laughs> you know, just, uh, ha have to protect, uh, protect, uh, Louie and make sure that he gets all of his munchies. He, he likes to peck at it, you know? He doesn't finish all of his food at once. He, like, gets little mouthfuls here and there. And, uh, <laughs> well, it's now kind of an athletic event for him to grab his food, unfortunately, but, uh, like, this has been, uh, working out <laughs> as silly as it sounds. But, uh, thank you all for being patient with me. Welcome back to the channel. Just trying to light up this area. Like, I think that's gonna be a grass block in a little bit. Do I have a... Yes, I do. Because I think... Instead of core stern, I can just, yeah, turn that into a little path block here. And uh, now I'll stop having uh, Endermen spawn in this area. I'm not too concerned about the skeletons or the uh, zombies or any of that. But the Endermen are stealing all my grass blocks and they're placing grass blocks where they shouldn't be placed. And it's kind of ruining the effect somewhat. <laughs> so. This is something that I just have to address, and I think it would be better if I get some brown carpets for a few of these spots, like right here, for example. This would look great if it were a brown carpet, but we have a green one. And uh, the overall image, the overall appearance doesn't really change too much if we switch a couple of blocks here and there, so uh, that might be something I'd do another day. It might not be. This looks good, so I'm willing to live with it. Besides the school, besides the maze, like, how are all of you doing today? And shenanigan, like, I haven't really heard from you yet. Like, sorry, I was mostly just, uh, like, I shouldn't say funny, but, like, I, I was too busy talking about how well you were doing to really ask you, like, how's your day going, man? Everything, uh, everything, uh, chill so far? Like, there's so much that I actually don't know about you. Like, uh, I've heard from Sour Patch that you have a background in theater. And that's really cool, man. Like, my grandmother also has one. Like, uh, I've taken a few theater classes in uh, high school, but I was never really good at uh, stage presence. And you seem to have uh, put a lot of what you've learned into your stream. I'm gonna move this one, I think. There we go. So that's all looking pretty good. Ooh, we have a lot of visitors along the shore, though. And certain guys are getting stuck in our moat. That's good that they can't pathfind their way up here. Maze is life, maze is life. <laughs> yeah, that's Broken Mouse. I think you've met him before, Shinra. And, uh, he has, uh, he's infatuated with this maze. You could say that the maze is obsessed with him. It's all he dreams of, it's all he thinks about. He'll be trapped in the maze of his mind until he dies. No, Paydar69 is still not returned to the stream. <laughs> uh, okay. 
just gotta do a little bit of cleanup out here. And now that I've lit up uh, this side, it's time that I do a little bit of terraforming here. Oh no, no, no! Oh, thank goodness. Like a lot of the blocks I've placed are blast resistance. Or blast resistance. I'm gonna have to replace, so looks like he knocked out, I think that's Kyle's stuff. It'd be much worse if he blew up another hole in the ground. But uh, I think I can just patch this up uh, like a so. Perfect. So I think what we're going to need next for this stage of the terraforming project are some leaf blocks. And uh, jungle leaf blocks are a nice bright... Oh! Oh, thank gosh. I managed to get away before he blew up. Okay. There's so many creepers that spawn in this area. It's because I've lit up so many of the caves around this area already. And uh, the entirety of the city is, is more or less lit up, except for a few parts that I've been working on recently. So creepers are just coming out of the woodworks. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you've talked to Broken Mouse in the past. Okay. You know what? It might be cool if I put some dead coral at the bottom of this stream here. That might give it a better gravelly look. Or maybe if I had uh, dead coral for the brickway? No, actually this road looks just fine without the dead coral. I think that's uh, an unnecessary extravagance. So, leaf blocks, that's what I was on. Okay, I don't think we're gonna use the lantern look this time. Or maybe lanterns would look pretty decent. But uh, for now, anyway, until we figure out what we're gonna use for the post holes, let's get down the basics here. We're gonna grab some jungle leaves. And uh, we're going to need. Uh, I'm thinking oak. Jungle leaves and oak, uh, oak leaves together should make a, a pretty nice looking palette. Mm, but I don't have too many. Not even dark oak, huh? So I might actually have to go harvesting a few of those. You gonna take a nap? Alright, I'll see you I'll see you next time you hop on, Shinra. Thank you so much for hopping on and hanging with me, as always, bro. It's a pleasure. Oh, sounds like my music just turned off. What's going on here? Uh, is YouTube asking me if I'm still here? Am I still watching? Of course, man, I'm still watching. Okay, so I need to... First... I have to put away all this dirt, or I'm not going to have enough room to collect these leaf blocks. Then second, I'm going to go out to the front area real quick and just give our trees a trim. I think I can put all these leaf blocks to better use. So this one is my dirt box, or at least the current dirt box. Let's throw all those away. Uh, not this one, I believe it's this one. place for our button. This is kind of an odd box. We're gonna need uh, this bone meal right here. No, no, it wasn't your audio. <laughs> it was just YouTube. I don't actually link any music to my channel itself. I find uh, uh, royalty-free music on that YouTube stream. Uh, dark oak slabs, we don't need any of that, but what I do need is a hoe. This hoe, to be precise, uh, it doesn't have... Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna run down to my lab real quick, and uh, let's throw silk touch on this thing. I should have a couple of silk touch books inside the chest. Then we'll have, like, there are animals all over El Chincarado now, but, uh, well, El Tantarado. I have to get used to calling this area El Tantarado. We've come up with a new name, and I have to thank Sour Patch for that. Um, but the other name that I had been using, El Chicarano, 
well, I slightly misinterpreted it. It's not the city of fucking, it's uh, a, a little more forceful than that. And I'm really uncomfortable using it. So, uh, it's El Cantarado now. That music sounds just a little bit too loud, doesn't it? Did I somehow get adjusted? That sounds a bit better. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I've had all of these problems before in this stream. My most frequent problem is drop frame rates. But yeah, I've had my auto, audio cut out of time, so I had to, this, like, my computer just outright crash. Oh. Uh, if, uh, like, you notice little things like that, you don't have to hesitate to, tell, to say it, man. I'm always looking for more info. It really helps me out to get a more of an external look into in this process. Uh, let's see, I need Silk Touch, right? So it should be this one. Yep, still have a few books left. As our handy dandy uh, trading hall here, I'm going to have to repair the villager breeder at some point. I'm uh, going to be adjusting that. Just shy. I am too, a little bit actually. Like, streaming has been one of the ways that I've been pushing myself to get out of my shell. And it's been very helpful. At the very least, I feel a bit more confident about speaking out about certain things, you know? I'm, I'm better able to articulate my thoughts in a way that can be well received, too. It has been very beneficial to have this stream. And I think I'm gonna harvest a little bit from my forest right here. I'm gonna have to clear out all this land eventually. This is gonna be the naval area. Yeah. People are quick to misconstrue things. And they're quick to make assumptions that aren't uh, particularly flattering. But I've also learned to just learn, let that kind of criticism wash over. Because how you feel about others, or how others feel about you doesn't matter. What really matters is how you feel about others and how you feel about yourself. Alright, so I think that's enough oak leaves. Yeah, that's more than enough. <laughs> we racked those up really fast, didn't we? Uh, so I'm gonna just throw those right here. I won't need the pickaxe or the shovel for now. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna let these, <laughs> I'm gonna let these little log pillars stand, I think. It, it, it entertains me to have little log pillars amongst the trees. <laughs> so, now that we have our leaf blocks, it's time to make some bushes. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna add any type of vines going up the wall here. I, like, it's, uh, and uh, I have to be careful about where I place the bushes. I can't allow them to be too large because I don't want my uh, defenders to have an obstructed view of the road here. They're not floating, just dead. <laughs> yeah, dead little bushes. Like dead little tree logs. And I'm already not liking this. So I'm actually gonna need this shovel after all, probably more than the sword. <clears throat> so we'll put the sword away, and we'll work on it just like that for now. Have our little rut right here, and uh, we'll put some bushes right here, like little hedges. Uh, how about we extend the dirt out? Oh, I don't have any dirt blocks on me. I'll get more dirt blocks in a bit. But I, I have to be very careful about where I place certain things, because uh, right here, for instance, I uh, just kind of like blend in to uh, our little hill cliff area right here. It might be better if this is where I put the oak planks or the wood spruce planks, because there aren't any dirt half slabs yet. But I, that might be look, like that might look okay. How's that? 
House Teutonian look. That's kind of weird, isn't it? But I, I kind of like having the uh, jungle blocks here because it looks like they're little berry bushes. And then have uh, like little taller shrubs and stuff right here. Maybe I should get some oak fence, uh, like some like fence poles or something like that, and just push them along the way. We'll see, we'll see. And I'm gonna have them on this side as well, I think. Hold on a second, let me get that, let me get those uh, fences. I think we'll be able to see, I think we'll be able to get some better designs like that. If we have happy little bushes and happy little trees. Some Bob Ross quality. Like, I'm not thinking like big trees or anything like. Um, more smaller, self-contained things. Like, they've been trimmed occasionally. I'm not sure how much sense that'll make in the context of the road itself, but, uh... It'll look nice. <laughs> and really, that's all I care about at this point in time. So, some spruce fences right here. That's a, that's a good natural color. Uh, I'll just, uh, go ahead and toss, uh, the rest of these. Uh, where's my wood box? Uh, it's in, yeah, it's in the coal box, actually. I'll just go ahead and place that right there. I'll do a little bit of inventory management later on. It's saddening that I won't have dirt slabs for most of my building. Someone will make a backport, probably. Like, I think that dirt slabs are going to be coming out in the 1.17 update. At least that's a her that that's uh, a rumor that I heard. Uh, it's unverified. But it, wouldn't that be really nice if we finally got real dirt half slabs in this game? That would be a, a builder's dream. And like that, I think that that looks pretty good. You know, a little happy tree. <laughs> I don't know. I might change that a bit. And it has some more bushes. And this looks a little bit bare at the moment, but once we add a couple of more dirt blocks and uh, we uh, get some tall grass in the back like so, uh, I think this area is going to look much better. Maybe some podzol, maybe some more uh, like little path blocks. Lots of coarse dirt to just rough out the shape. You can just make your own? Yeah, I like... Yeah, whatever works for you, man. I personally don't use mods in Minecraft. Like, I don't have the patience for the, I don't have the patience to learn how to use them. Uh, it, it's more like that, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Like, uh, I, I love seeing uh, some of these mods uh, online. Like, a lot of these builders are very creative. A lot of these designers. Like, the Steampunk and Terra Firma mods that I've seen uh, uh, Ethos on Ethos Lab using. Like, those are very cool technological mods that I would kind of like to have in here, but uh, it kind of takes out the fun of, uh, like, it takes out a little bit of the creativity. Like, you have to kind of just think with and wrestle with concepts and ideas until you finally, like, arrange blocks in a way that works. So I think that having too many options for a build kind of limits your creativity overall. Not to knock it or anything. But dirt half slaps, I think, absolutely should belong in the game. There's no reason why we shouldn't have gotten dirt half slaps before now. Well, I've made a few mod packs in my time. Hmm. I might have to check out a few of those. But like I said, like, I don't typically work with mods, mostly because I don't have the patience to install them properly. Like, Skyrim is about as far as I go with modding. Although I do want to mod, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic run at some point. So that, uh, like, I can play the, the cut content for, uh, HK47.
because that's something I'm really excited to try. Hmm. It might be worth my time to just bring this grass out a little bit more, so I think I'm going to go and grab some grass blocks. And that's looking alright, like little happy trees along the way. Little happy trees, happy bushes. So let's put some more jungle stuff right here. And, uh, why not? We'll have a nice little happy tree a little bit further back this time. Right there. And we'll have a couple more, like so. Just little bushes along the way. As long as I'm building in that vein, I might as well just sprawl out a nice fat bush right here. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah. No, I really do. I like that. It's pretty. And then, like, since I'm here, I might as well dig out these two blocks and uh, place a uh, shroom light behind this. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do right now with all the blocks that I can. It won't be too much of a hassle to just knock out certain ones. Like, I won't be able to do this with all of them, you know, but uh, just having a light here and there will help me spread out the uh, lamps that I'm going to be adding later on to help fully illuminate this area. Because I don't want my lamps to be too close together, right? Because it's kind of necessary to have lighting sources in uh, Minecraft, but uh, having too many in, in a, a concentrated area will... It, it kind of looks cramped, it kind of looks cluttered, so I want to uh, just place these wherever I can to really spread out the feel. Just like that. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys just heard that on the camera, but it sounds like my cat just knocked something over upstairs. Oh boy, you can, you can hear Grandma getting really upset at the cats. Oh no. What do they do? I'm kind of scared to go up and check. Like, Kinsey has been so demanding today already. Oh my goodness. None of them are publicly available because there's still a WIP. What's a WIP? I'm sorry if I sound a big, bit ignorant about the topic. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry about the, like, what's going on in the background. <laughs> my, my cat, I think what he did is that he just jumped on all the Christmas boxes that I haven't put away yet. So that's largely my fault. I need to get up there at some point and I, I need to intercede, but that'll be in another half hour or so. I'm not quite done yet. Work in progress. Uh, like, I don't do internet. Like, internet is foreign to me. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Like, I, I'm, I'm not too good at all of these, uh, what are they? What are they called again? Acronyms, that's it. I'm not good with acronyms. Uh, it's this box right here. Alright, uh, here, I can condense these, put them in like so. Hold on, I'm gonna need to get more little fences. Uh, where am I? Which one is it? I'm starting to lose track of myself here. There we go. Okay, oh, nope. I'm just gonna make all of these twigs, I'm running out of them. Or, I guess... I'll make this many sticks. And then grab all these. Looks like I'll only be able to make... Hmm, that's uh, nine, but that's really all I need. Then I'll just throw these back in my wood box. Where are my sticks at? Here are my sticks. Happy Rocket. He did the English. The English. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm starting to remember words better. Now that I'm not relying on the swear words like a crutch, you know, things are coming along. Getting better at this, making real progress, man. Feeling proud of myself. Oh my, I'm becoming human. I'm learning how to do human things. Thank you. 
I have to, like, I saw this creeper hole here. It wasn't the plan, but I, it's more of a compulsion. I just had to fill up this creeper hole. It looked too nasty. Okay. So I'm gonna fill up this area here, and I'll worry about the cliff side as I more, like, thoroughly terraform this area. Just kind of working on a little border. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's not so much as using swearing as uh, a crutch like I do, but so much as to like make a comedic point. So what you're doing is more akin to George Carlin when he would use swear words to accentuate and to embellish certain aspects of his storytelling, which is in itself an intellectual pursuit. So, I think that there's a time and a place for swearing, but not at the frequency and pace that I've been doing it at. And it'd be really nice to be able to take this mature content warning off my channel. I, I want to be able to make this content more family friendly. Because, you know, even though I would appreciate if uh, my uh, viewers uh, were older, because it would help me relate to them. You know, I've found that it's been mostly kids that have found uh, my Minecraft content. And uh, I'm, I'm becoming keenly aware of the kind of influence that I have on uh, developing minds like that. You know what I mean? I, I'm feeling really uncomfortable with it. Or at least being a bad role model. I think you're an eccentric genius, my friend. You have layers upon layers of untapped potential. A thorough mad genius. And the king of the maze. I'm going to, like, knock out some of the rut right here. So that I can hide a little, uh, shroom like here. Or maybe I want to have that kind of filled in in the back. So let's knock that out. Jungle loops. Hey, babes. More milk? I can actually run out and grab more of that after I'm done with the stream, babes. And that'll be in another half hour or so. I'm almost done. But you want to check out the road? <laughs> you barely glanced at it. Oh, okay. I don't want to hold you up then. Oh, you're fine, babes. So, thank you. Like, uh, I'll, I'll try and show you later on when you have the time. Love you, baby. <laughs> you type like a goddamn madman? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's similar to my first impressions of it. <laughs> like I said, let's call it eccentric genius. Like my friend Pickle Rick back here. You know, I should have looked to see what the light levels were, because I don't want to have to pull up F3 to get the light levels correct here. But I think that now is the time to work on the postman lights. As I've got as much of the bushes down as I think I can reasonably sneak in here. I could probably put more jungle leaves like that to hide this little shroom light. Because, uh... Like, these are necessary, but I, I kind of want to hide the carpet where I can. And having odd little shapes here and there, it, it, it's, you know, it makes it feel more natural. So let's get a flyover of this real quick and see how our bushes and trees look. Oh, that's nice. That's very pretty. Looks like it's well-maintained, well-groomed. 
but I don't like how this obstructs the aerial view to have this part of the hill so close to our road here, so I think what I'm gonna do is just real briefly whack this back a couple of blocks. And this will make the road feel like it's more, it, like it expands a little bit further beyond what it really does. Because that kind of gave it the impression from an aerial view that the road was more tight and constricted in this area. When it's really roughly equ equivalently spaced along with the rest of it, I, I made very sure to keep it at a consistent four wide pace. Uh, that should help out with the look. Let's take a look now. Yeah, a little better. It's kind of this area that feels more pinched off from certain angles, but I think that that's something that we're just going to have to live with. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it, man. It's really coming along. I just want to check something real quick. Yeah, because, yep, yep, it's just as I thought. I was getting a little bit of a lag issue. There we go. Alright, so, gotta think of a design for these lights. Now, I want to take a look at what I have real quick in the city, probably. Because this is just one of them. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. But I really like the nether brick with blackstone look. Like, call me edgy, but I just think that that's a, like, that's a nice color palette. Like, and it kind of fits with the black and white vibe I have with the walls. So it might be, it might behoove me to use a similar black and white or black and red color palette for our lanterns here. So let's go ahead and grab some blackstone and grab some nether fences. I think I have the nether box over here. Ooh, but my inventory is pretty full. Let's see if I can make some room. The game jolt page for the game. Uh, it'll be available as soon as the game is. Uh, the game, are you referring to the mains? Okay, here's the blackstone that we need. And here's our nether brick fences. But do I have a place to store all of this excess material? Kind of. Not really, but I'll make it I'll make do. It has a name. The Game Jolt page. Uh, is it Game Jolt or what's the name for it? I'm gonna put this building material away from now. I might come back and grab some of this later. But I'm going to try and stay away from this. Let's work primarily with nether brick and, uh, like, we might use these for the caps. Nether brick and blackstone. And I think that we can get some good looks from that. Uh, probably going to want to use, hmm, I think polished blackstone for the bottom layer. Then... I'm thinking cracked blackstone stairs. Well, I could be wrong about this, but I think that that will give it a more like black marbly layer. Uh, it's tough to say, but uh, I think this design is going to call for lanterns. So let's see if I have, because uh, I think in the upper layer I still have my light box that has a lot of my lanterns in there. So let's see if I have any. Okay, so gray, no, cobble. No, it looks like I don't have any light here. There's one piece of glowstone in there. Oh, there's my kitty. This is Bean Daddy. Bean Daddy's a good boy. Pathway Zero. That's a cool name for it, man. I like it. Ooh, and rods. That might be the thing to do. Hmm. Yeah, I think end rods might help us out. Ow. Just slammed into I don't know what I just slammed into, but it was something. 
All right, let's deposit some of our items in this uh, rando box here. Uh, a lot of this I need. Okay, let's let's start with the things I don't need. I don't need any more of this dirt. I don't think. Did I fill in that area over there? Yes, I did. Okay, just double checking. Let's put the dirt away. Put an S on thank this week. Thank. Thanks. Yeah. You can fade the message, so does it really matter? I think I drank too much coffee. Not touching that anymore. I think this is a great place to start. Let's have this bad boy right here. Like so. Hmm. Gonna use this as scaffolding. Okay. And then I think, well, I have real scaffolding. Why wouldn't I use that? <laughs> Hi Toasty Flamingos, welcome back to the channel, and I'm so sorry I missed it when you gave me that follow, and I wanted to thank you so much for that. I really appreciate everybody that follows me. I just didn't notice, and that's my fault. Like, I think that maybe my OBS didn't give me a notification, or possibly I wasn't paying attention, but whatever the case, I still want to apologize for that. Now let's see... I think it might be better if I go like... No, not like that. Not like that either. That looks kind of bad. <laughs> so let's replace this with our pickaxe. Like so. Then we'll just double layer it like so. Oops. I'm pretty bad at placing blocks. Uh, we're not going to stress that type of thing. How is that? Yeah? Maybe? Maybe like this? We'll see. And then I can just hang a little lantern there. Yep, I have some iron right now, so why don't I go ahead and make some of those lanterns? This should be plenty. This should be plenty. We got a lot done while you were gone. In just a second, I'll show you the whole road, Toasty. Let's see. We don't need... Well, I do need rockets, because I kind of want to take off sh and show this off a little bit. But how's that? Yeah? No? I kind of like the design, but I'm not entirely sold on it yet. We'll see. We'll see how it looks once we have a lot more of them. But I also have to keep track of where I have all of my shroom lights. So let's go ahead and continue for now. We'll put that to uh, of our fence posts here. Oops. No mistakes. Just happy accidents. I was happy that I made accidents, but uh, didn't need it. <laughs> Another happy accident. I placed this on the wrong side here. Probably be better if I place my scaffolding here. Then like so. Then I'm gonna have to double layer this each time, but that's okay. Because I can just knock it out. Place another half slab there. And lantern. This is not bad. It's, an it's not entirely well illuminated yet, but there's a lot of potential here, and I think this is only going to get better. So, like for example, if I were to, because this area isn't fully lit up yet, so maybe it would be better if I knocked this block out, then I replaced it with a normal dirt block. And then I knocked 
this guy out. Then filled in one of my shroom lights here. And uh, more jungle leaves. And that's already much better. Thank you so much, Toasty. Here, let me get an aerial view at night real quick. This is what it's looking like so far. It's not entirely illuminated yet, but I think that's what these posters are going to be for. We have a few mobs on the road, though, and I can't really get that good of a look yet. So, well, let's get a good night's sleep. Thanks, Sour Patch. And now we'll be able to really check this out. I don't think I'll be able to fully terraform the roads before I have to leave, but at the very least I would like to get all the lanterns in place. So let's take a nice overhead view of this. And not much has changed regarding the road itself. I put up a few little happy trees and bushes here and there. And I've started placing shroom lights underneath them. For those of you who are just tuning in again. And yeah, this whole thing is really starting to come along. But we have uh, a few uh, guests that I need to take care of. This time, not even a deal with the sword. Uh, let's just clear house, make sure we don't get any more potholes. Because uh, we, have a f we already have uh, enough potholes in this road. <laughs> I can't tell if all those emojis are good things or bad things, so you're just happy. But they're very nice. Uh, sorry, my nose is kind of itchy, I'm not trying to be gross. Okay, so we have a shroom light right there, so I think the next place for our poster and lamp is going to be right here. Build that up. Then I'll need just a couple of blocks of scaffolding. Move that. Cracked blackstone has been working out for us so far, so I'm going to keep that up. Let's extend that. Uh, let's put the bow away. I hope we don't need the bow. <laughs> like these mobs, you know, you never know. I guess you don't know, <laughs> if you never know. I really need to watch my language. Not just the swearing, but in general. Sometimes I say some very redundant things. I'm trying to be more cognizant of all of that. Uh, then let's have another lamp right here. This looks like we're pacing ourselves pretty... Oh, who dares? Who, who dares? Where are you at? I got shot from this direction. He's in our moat! How did you get in our moat? I'm sorry, friend, but my bow's better. Oh, he just shot his friend. Betrayal! <laughs> sorry if that was a little loud. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I guess I need this pickaxe after all. I'm so bad at placing these. But that's why I need my scaffolding. That's what it's here for. Hey, welcome back, Shenanigan. I'm so sorry that I had to feed, like, leave the feed the cats earlier. And it took a little longer than I thought. I, I got back after about seven minutes. Like, uh, they were... All of my cats were being very demanding. All of them. Okay, and it looks like this will be the next place for our poster right here. Yeah. I just kind of poorly scheduled this. I just took an... Like, this is usually their feeding time. Which is why they were giving me the business, but I poorly, like... This uh, stream time was really last minute. Uh, I don't typically get to use uh, this a desktop area uh, around this time period because my girlfriend needs it for studying. But uh, she's getting close to spring and uh, winter break here, so I'm going to have a bit more opportunity to stream earlier in the afternoon, which I personally prefer anyway. I feel like I just have more energy in general, and I feel more creative and relaxed when I'm streaming in the afternoons, you know? Oh, you never left? 
<laughs> I didn't even notice Shenan again. Well, then you got to witness the creation of all of our happy little trees. Hopefully, like when this thing is all done, it's gonna look really nice. I, I'm already liking it. I, I think I made the correct color palette to, uh, choice, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. out of cracked blackstone. I'm gonna have to go and get more staircases after this one. Okay, hold on a second. I need... Yep, I need to go get more cracked blackstone stairs. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me and chilling with me, Shenanigan, and good luck with your own stream. And I managed to resolve the auto-host feature, so my channel will be auto-hosting you. Good luck and congratulations once again on making affiliate, man. You really deserved it. Alright, where is my stone cutter? I'm just gonna make a whole stack of these. I'll try and hop on and hang out with you too, man. I'm, I'm gonna be a little busy after this. I have to run for some groceries and help the girlfriend dye her hair and all that good stuff. And that's really looking good. I can't wait to uh, share pictures with you guys. Like she said, uh, got this split dyed look and it just looks fantastic. She did a great job. No, no shroom light there, okay. So this is going to be another good place to put one of our posters. And guys, I just want to, like, I want to say that I love these little uh, shroom lights here. It's such a good block. Like, or organic glowstone, man. Doesn't get much better. <laughs> but I think this happy little tree right here is right where I want to put my poster lamp. So this one is got to go. And thank you so much, Sour Patch. Really appreciate, really appreciate the positive vibes about this build. Been working my hardest over here. And it's paying off. This is like one of those satisfying moments in Minecraft where you've been working on an idea or a concept for months and then you finally implement it and it looks fantastic. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I, I think I'm, I'm really knocking this one out of the park. I don't often get a build... I don't often build well the first time around. Like, especially when I'm dealing with a relatively new concept. But this time, like, I think everything is just... It's culminating so well. Everything is, uh, is working well with the, each other. Like, the color palette is right. Like, the feel and the effect is right. Like, this whole build is just making me very excited. And I can't wait to continue working on this next time I stream. I am back, am now am, I am, I am now am. <laughs> now back am I. I'm going to be leaving as soon as I'm done putting up these posters. I, I have things to do today and I promised my girlfriend that I would help her out with a few things. I also promised my grandma that I would help her wrap presents. Well, you, you know, just regular adult and stuff. <laughs> so I wish I could stay longer than three hours. And I might, and this is a big might, come back on tonight in my usual 8 to 11 time period. But, uh, and like, that depends on how I'm feeling, because, uh, I also want to get my own workout in, and, uh, like, I, I have to cook, and I have to clean, and all of this stuff. Like, you know, life just conflicts sometimes, and that's not a bad thing. There, there's balance in everything. And that, them's just the breaks. I love being here, and I, I love building, crafting, and talking out, and talking and hanging with you guys. 
But, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't spend all my time here. It kind of makes me sad. I wish I could spend more time streaming, actually. Like, the more I do it, the more I love it. But, well, duty calls. <laughs> duty. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of immature, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the last poster right here. Yeah, that's perfect, because I'm, I'm out of my uh, brick walls now. get this one built quick. The spookums are gonna come out. I don't want to get spooked by no spookums. But this will help me take a real, like, nice objective look at the lighting at night. Because I don't want it to just look pretty. It has to have a function. It needs to serve the purpose of properly illuminating this road, and it might be that there's some dark patches along the side here. And if that's how it is, then that's just how it is. And I have to live with that. I think I'm gonna stack that like so. That looks good. I'm gonna go now anyway. I'm gonna stream something. What something? I have no idea, but it looks good as a desk. <laughs> hey, would you mind putting the channel in the comments and which one you're gonna be streaming on? I know that I said that earlier, but I would like it if other viewers could come check you out from time to time, because you're a really cool dude. And I'm, like, I want to see some of your content, man. Hmm. This one would be better if, hold on, are, are you a Shroomlight? You're not a Shroomlight. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two. I might get blown up while I do this, but I'm gonna swap that out. And the core dirt's gonna go right here. And then this block is gonna go right here, and the grass will come in, like this will become a grass block. Then I can knock this one out right here, and uh, we can make this a shroom light. Uh, no, we want to put jungle leaves on top of that. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. I keep thinking, like, this one would be a great shroom light, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another shroom light right here. And instead of a rut, this will just be a regular grass block. Like so. And, oh, man... Isn't this a good feeling? Let's get the flyby. Before you go, Broken Mouse, let's do one last fly flyby to check this all out. Because, is it done? No. <laughs> but, for now, I am finished with it. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm happy with this build. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna do a few flybys. I'm really happy with this. This came out it, like almost exactly like I thought it would. It has that uh, worn medieval feel and vibe to it, but it's still welcome and open. And uh, all these bushes I don't think are gonna block the defender's view in any way, so it's still well defensible. Anybody who looks down this road, anybody who walks down it with evil intent is going to get skewered by our archers. And it's just beautiful. But I am summoning and spawning a lot of mobs, so I'm going to have to find a, a safe place to sleep. And that's where I'm going to be calling the stream, guys. And thank you so much, Broken Mouse. Thank you, Sour Patch. Like, I want to thank Tosi Flamingos and Professor Robo for both giving me follows today. <laughs> and uh, I would want to once again recommend please check out Shenaniganon. He's a fantastic streamer, but also devote some of your time today to Broken Mouse 345. I haven't gotten a chance to check out his streams yet, <clears throat> but I'm sure he's going to be able to entertain you well. 
that's got to eat. I think I'm safe here. And with that, that's the end of the stream. Thank you all for hanging out with me again. This has been Dr. Greenstone. This has been the wonderful world of L. Turn. Turn. It's. It's. It's El Tantorado. It's El Tantorado now. <laughs> this has been the wonderful world of El Tantorado. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. All of y'all, have a wonderful night. Peace. <laughs>